In our Android Basics section this week, we'll talk about file management. You'll know that one of the really big advantages of Android is that you can very easily transfer content onto your device by uh, connecting it to your PC and it shows up as a drive. And when you uh, copy things into certain folders, that's where they'll be when you disconnect your uh, device from your computer. But what's the best way then to manipulate them on uh, your Android device? What's the best app to use? Uh, what do you want to accomplish? Uh, Mariam, I know you've got some views on this. Do you want to kick us yeah. off with your experience of file management on Android? All right. So actually, file management is one of the best things, as you mentioned, that actually Android has. So there are a lot of file managers, and every single um, phone comes with a file manager. And every company does have a certain file manager dedicated to this company. For instance, where you have the Samsung file manager, where you have the Google file manager, which comes with with the Pixel phones. And also we do have, uh, do we have OnePlus Austin file manager? Or we don't? Yeah, we do OnePlus file manager also we have. Yeah, so cool. And actually recently companies put out their file managers in the Play Store to give people opportunity to download and install those file managers and test them themselves. So the first file manager I've ever dealt with was the Samsung file manager, and it was working pretty well until recently. So the Samsung file manager is pretty easy. It has a really, really simple layout, and everything that you can do is definitely accessible without any unlabeled buttons since I've actually started using it since like 2014. So what the problem here when it comes to accessibility with Samsung File Manager is that if you want to copy or remove multiple files at the same time, when you select every single file, the screen reader loses focus and it jumps to the first item or it actually jumps to you know the on t- the top of the page which is definitely annoying if you want to you know finish what you're doing quickly but on the other hand it works perfectly fine without any problems and here I'm going to talk about the Google file manager and I think Warren you know doesn't agree with me when I say that Google file manager has a little bit of stupid things actually sorry and what google file manager did to me was unforgivable so i do love google file manager and when i first installed it i was definitely completely satisfied with what it does but then just a month ago something happened and i was definitely dissatisfied and i decided to not use it again or rather you know not use it regarding cleaning so Google's file manager contains three tabs, I think, the clean uh, and the share and the, um, what it's called? There's another tab. So the clean tab, what it does is it gives you possibility to actually clean um, the things that you have on your phone. If you do have, you know, multiple copies of the same file or anything like that. So what Google File Manager did to me, it told me that I do have two copies of, you know, more than one file. And I, okay, I believed it, uh, even though I was pretty sure that I've already deleted those. So I deleted all the files that it told me there were, you know, additional. And then I didn't find anything. So that's when I decided to not use Google File Manager in cleaning at all, which definitely is bad. Okay, Miriam, so are you done, you know, ranting about the Google, uh, Google File Manager? And, uh, oh, I'm not, rebuttal? but I'm just giving you a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. Okay, so here's what's going on. Um, I happen to be, you know, coming from the other side of the aisle, and that's to say that I like Google File Manager. And uh, here's why. And here's how... It goes when it comes to using Google File Manager. But before I talk about that, though, I want to talk a little bit about the history of file managers when Android got started. 
you know, back in the day, um, the king on the hill was the S file explorer, ES um, file explorer or something like that. And for a long time, they were the go-to file manager because when Android started, there was no file manager. So it gave room or gave rise to all these uh, file managers and uh, S file Flo uh, explorer was the one to go to. And every time someone installed or set up an Android device, you know, the thing was, hey, make sure you install the S file explorer. Now, over the years, I think it was maybe in 2014 or maybe 2015 that uh, they got sold. And then those guys started putting some, you know, malware and stuff like that, or, you know, tracking stuff. And so it fell from being the favorite. So um, I think it was in 2017 or 2016, I don't remember. I tend to be the historian, but sometimes I forget my dates that the Google Files Manager came to us. What was it, 2018? It was, it was, it was called uh, Files Go, you know? That's the name it was called by. It was File, Files Go. And the whole idea was intended for the uh, Go, uh, Go phones, uh, you know, like the Android, uh, Go phones that didn't have enough. And so you have things like YouTube Go, Maps Go, Assistant Go, and that was the whole idea. It was not in intended for phones like yours and mine, but then, you know, it got adapted by even people who were not using the Go phones. And so Google changed it from Files Go to just Files. And so... So here's what happens when you bring up files. So I want to bring up the file uh, manager, you know, the files here by Google. Files. Let's look at it a little files. bit. Show navigation menu button. So when you when you launch it, you hear it says show navigation menu. And if I tap on that, we have open feedback, file settings, share offline, fast share 669 MB, stay saved. Share offline, fast sharing with other files users. So you can share files offline. Settings. And then in the settings, settings navigate up button. Here's what we have. Settings. Clean, edit, and list. You can clean. Notifications. Choose which notifications you get. Hidden suggestions. Browse. Heading. So there's the browse. Clear search history. Clear searches made on this device. Pause search history. Temporarily hide searches made on this device from the search history. Switch off. Show hidden files. Show files that are used to run Android and apps. Switch off. Save folder. Share, and that save folder is what I call the porn folder <laughs> or whatever. Your name. Tap to set your name. Other settings. Heading. About files app. Okay. So that would be in files. this settings, settings area. Now, here's what I like about files. Now, when you do that clean, though, um, what you want to do with Google Files is that you want to put the things that you don't want cleaned Um in your favorites or in your save folder, for instance. So if you scroll down, favorites. you'll find the favorites save folder. and you find the save folder. Now, if I go to favorites. my favorites, I think favorites. I, I put Navigate something in there. I'll underscore to underscore and install underscore Samsung underscore talkback underscore and underscore replace underscore and underscore with underscore Google underscore talkback dot docs. Favorite file 17.30 KB from March 6th. So this is the one that I got that, you know, Austin sent me and I put it in my favorites. Now, I could also put that in my save folder and Files. the save folder, save folder. Um, Enter bin. Enter when you bin launch bin. your uh, save folder, it's going to ask you to create a pin for it. I do want to say here that when you launch this and you get to the files, you have to double tap. Live to type does not work. There we go. So I am now in my save folder. So you want to put your things in here that you don't want to, you know, accidentally clean because what Google files, when especially looking for the cleaning of your files, is looking for duplicates and things like that and uh, uh, things you don't want to ever get touched. You want to put those in either your favorites or in the save folder. So. As you can see, it's a really nice uh, file management and you have the two tabs at the bottom there. You have the, the clean and the browse. So when you tap on the browse, then you can go. Images, 201 KB. Videos, 0 B. Audio, 15 MB. You can go through all of that and um, clean up 
or you know browse the things that you want you can move them to whatever and just file basic file management and that's what these uh, google files do so uh, if you're looking for a clean file uh, manager this could be one of them although my favorite is the uh, what is that solid explorer Hey, so before we move on to that, I just want to point something out regarding the Google Files Manager. Um, so actually, when I rename uh, my files, Google Files Manager doesn't realize that. And that means it doesn't refresh itself, which is bad. And it makes me doubt myself. So I actually went to another file explorer. And it showed me the files renamed as I actually renamed them. So it sometimes actually, you know, messes things up. And it definitely has a, some advantage as well. So I definitely yeah. okay so you, could that I still the, hate it. Miriam, could it be yeah. that after renaming, though, you need to refresh the folder? Because uh, all file managers would do that. If you don't refresh that folder or exit out of it, um, you're I not going to see the, the change. Um, so let's see if that's that's the case. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here in my favorites. I'm gonna rename that Austin sent. Okay, so. Okay. More options. Button. Pop up window. Open with and list. Deselect all. Move to save backup to Google rename. So I'm, go I'm going to call it new dog. New dog. Done. Keyboard hidden. New rename. New dog dot docs. Edit docs for rename. Okay. Button. File renamed. Clear file select. New dog dot docs. Favorite file. Yeah, so there it is. You know, it, it actually works. Yeah, it actually um, works when you rename it through the Google Files Manager. But what I did was that I renamed the file through another files manager and I made sure that it's actually renamed and I connected oh. my phone to my laptop to make sure it's renamed but Google it's Files Manager didn't actually well so you know something I wanted to check though before we go it um I wanted to see I'm gonna go rename that file with my solid explorer the um the file that I named dog or new dog and see if the files from Google would understand that the solid explorer when it says app icon in solid explorer that is the navigate the top or whatever okay so I'm gonna go to my internal storage uh, let's, let's change this Okay, so I'm going to rename this. And what shall, share, what shall we written. call it? Action overflow button. Mm. Action rename. The button. fight. Call it the fight. Should I call it the List. fight. Okay. The fight with Miriam. <laughs> Done. <laughs> 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 Isn't that a beautiful name? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now that I've renamed it to the fight with Miriam, I'm going to go to uh, the Google Files Manager here. So I'm going to internal storage. Let's scroll up. Scroll down. Download selected. The fight with Miriam. Ah, there you go. There's the oh, fight with Miriam. Yes, the so fight with Miriam. Don't poo poo <laughs> my Google Files <laughs> Manager. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't it nice to fight with a lady? But guys, don't do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. So actually,